We have a small video today. Right now we're in Oregon and we're going to be visiting a couple of parks that have laid claim to be in the smallest in the United States. Hey everyone, welcome to Sidetrack Adventures. This is Steve. Right now I'm in Salem, Oregon, and this is the Oregon State Capitol behind me, but that's not what today's video is about. Today, we're gonna to be visiting some of the smallest parks in America. And one of them is right here in Salem. Now here in Salem is Waldo Park, and it's just right back over here somewhere. And it used to be the smallest park in America. So let's head over and check it out. And then a little bit later, we'll go see the park that dethroned it. Here's a look back at the Oregon Capitol building. And here's looking towards Waldo Park. That tree that is sticking up higher than the rest should be where we're going. Waldo Park is only about a block or so from the state capitol grounds, but back in 1872, this was just outside Salem city limits. In that year, Judge William Waldo purchased a giant sequoia seedling from a traveling salesman and planted it on the corner of his farmland. Judge Waldo must have really loved this tree because when he sold his property so a road could be built, he did so on the condition that the tree be preserved. And right across the street in front of us is that tree. After Waldo's death in 1911, the sequoia was designated a traffic hazard several times, and each time the street was widened and paved, citizens had to fight to have the tree preserved. In 1936, the Salem chapter of the American War Mothers convinced the Salem City Council to declare the tree, plus the 12 by 20 foot piece of land it sits on, a public park to be named after Judge Waldo. This tree is now 82 feet tall. You can see here how the street is more narrow where the tree is. At only 12 by 20 feet, for a long time this stood as the smallest public park in the United States. However, being only 150 years old, this tree is still a baby as far as giant sequoias go. At some point, the size of this park may need to be enlarged. For 40 years, this was the smallest city park in the United States. But in 1976, it lost its crown. Now we're going to head about 45 miles north of here and visit the smallest park in the country. We've made it to downtown Portland and the smallest park in the United States and what claims to be the smallest park in the world is right down this street behind me. So let's go check out Mill Inns Park. And there it is out in the center median of Southwest Nido Parkway. In 1948, the city of Portland put in a spot for a light pole in the middle of what was then Front Street. But the light pole never arrived. Dick Fagan, who was a journalist with the Oregon Journal, had an office overlooking the street and the empty hole. When no pole arrived to fill this hole, weeds took over the space, and Fagan decided to take matters into his own hands and planted flowers. Who would have known the world's smallest park would be such a tourist attraction? Quite a few people have been stopping to take pictures with it. Fagan wrote a popular column called Mill Inns. In his column, he would write about the park and the various events that occurred there. Because he said he was a good Irishman, the park was dedicated on St. Patrick's Day, 1948. He continued to write about the park until he died in 1969. According to Fagan, 
the park was inhabited by leprechauns and was the only leprechaun colony west of Ireland. Mill Inns became a city park officially on St. Patrick's Day in 1976 and has continued to be the site of St. Patrick's Day festivities. Guinness has certified the park as the world's smallest. In 2021, work was done on the street and the park was moved six inches to the west. The city also gave the park a new design, so it now has this cloverleaf border in honor of the leprechauns that are said to inhabit it. We've crossed the street to a slightly larger park so we can get a good look at the Willamette River and also so that we can get out of the middle of the road and not get hit by any cars. But that's our look at the smallest parks in the United States and according to Guinness, the smallest park in the world. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next week.